Hi everyone, so today I am going to do a eyeshadow tutorial for you. Um, I'm going to do a neutral question mark, smoky eye question mark, I don't even know. I'm just going to start doing what I would normally do when I'm getting ready. So it's going to be pretty much a get ready with me video, but just on my eyeshadow. Um, yeah, so I have... A few, here, I'll just show you. This is what I grabbed to put in front of me today. Um, I grabbed my Naked my naked, my naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. I'm sure everybody has seen this. It's pretty worn out. I need to get a new one. Um, I have a MAC eyeshadow in vanilla. I don't even know if they carry this color anymore because it's been so long. Like, look at the back packaging. You really can't read it. It's quite depressing. And then I have a eyeshadow in Woodwinked from MAC as well. Um, <laughs> I need to take this one in too. I'm getting to the end of this makeup. This has been around for quite some time too in my makeup collection. So it's in Woodwinked. And it is again from MAC. Um, poor eyeshadows. And then I have a um, Clinique. It's from one of their gifts. And it's on a Safari single shade lemongrass and then um butter toast duo so if you okay here N Ugh. okay i hate doing this where i just like start throwing out information at you guys when i'm trying to do a tutorial video but just to let you know in the clinique gifts and i'm pretty sure that's how it is in most gifts um if it's an eyeshadow quad most of the time they don't have it together um it's normally a bunch of different eyeshadows from different um palettes so this one, like this one, is on a safari lemongrass and butter toast duo. So, um, on a safari is this one right here. Woo! There we go. This is the, from on a safari, and that is a quad from Clinique. And then this is um, the lemongrass color. And then these two, ah, these two are the butter toast, and that is a duo quad that you, I mean, a duo that you can get for them, a duo palette. So, <clears throat> this is a single, this is in a quad, and then these are, um, this is a duo palette from them. So, that's what else I'm using. So, I just kind of have, oh, and I'll fill these in too, just in case I want to use them. I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> um... I have also the Golden Pancakes um, Hard Candy Eyeshadows. Just kind of throwing everything over here just in case I want to use it. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but I will show you while I'm doing it. So let's just start off with the easiest thing to do, and that is to prime your eyes. 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 Don't mind me. Okay. Uh, so, I, it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm not going to show you because most people have seen it. And then you just put a large dollop on my fingers and then I put it on my whole eyelid. And I go into my crease too. I mean in my corners. Just because I put eyeshadow there. So, might as well do that. And I already did my foundation. Normally, I wouldn't finish off my foundation routine quite yet, but I did a video doing my foundation routine. So, I figured I'd just do this, because that's my primary foundation routine, or what I do when I'm not switching up my foundation. So, I figured I'd just give you all a video on that. So, if you're interested in watching that video, go check it out. All right. We go. We go. Alright, so first I'm going to use um, the Clinique eyeshadow thing. I'm going to use the color, um, it's from the Butter Toast Duo, and I'm going to use it, it's this lightest color over here. I absolutely have been in love with this color late, lately. I think it would be a really good highlight too. It's a really pretty shimmery gold color. Here, let me see if I can, let's see if I can swatch it. Watch it for you. And um, Clinique eyeshadows aren't the best, but they're pretty creamy. I didn't think that they were going to be as good as they are. Um, so that's it. It has like, it's white, 
it's like a vanilla white with like gold flecks in, flecks in it maybe like a gold undertone I don't know it's so pretty I just love this eyeshadow and when I was working there I didn't like it as much so I think it's funny how things change and you start liking new eyeshadows all right so I'm just going to try to do this where you can see hopefully you can and I just generously apply it all over my eye and I I use a lot so sorry so you can see it it's a really pretty I don't know I like how white it is because I feel like it's almost cartoonish but then again I feel like it's not that white um I feel like it could be a really pretty um highlight on pretty much every like on a lot of different people probably not super tan people because it is quite light but if you're using it in your um, the corner of your eye I feel like it's definitely a good color for you um, yeah see it's flipping white <laughs> oh, okay Alright, I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the Woodwink color from MAC, and I'm just going to take my um, Urban Decay Naked 2 eyeshadow brush. I really like this brush, um, honestly. So I think that I would definitely go back and buy more Urban Decay brushes if I were to pick a brand so far that I like. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just definitely applying it. Def definitely, def def definitely. I'm right, man. I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. Ugh, I need to get a new color. I need to buy a whole bunch of new MAC eyeshadows. If So if you have favorite MAC eyeshadows, let me know what it is so I can make like a list of ones to try. Or definitely eye, MAC eye pigments because I really want to get into pigments more. So definitely hook a sister up and tell me what to use. So, um, I just applied it all over my lid, and I went a little bit over my crease, not a whole bunch, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Um, what do I want to use next? I don't know. All right, I'm going to use this darker color from the Hard Candy um, Golden Pancakes Duo. And I'm going to use this fluffy uh, side of the brush from the Urban Decay color. Oh, here, I'll show you. It's this color. It's darker. I don't know. It, I don't like how they don't knit, number them or have better names for them, but whatever. So I'm just going to take it and go into my crease. Hello, computer. And go a little bit farther down, not too much. And then just go a little bit above, too. I'm just kind of throwing some dark stuff around right now. Holla! I'm definitely getting it in the crease the most and just kind of blending it upward, like, and inward. I feel like this side needs a little bit more action. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Alright, now I'm just looking at my bin mirror to make sure it's all blended in well. <sighs> this is definitely a shimmery color look. I told you I didn't know what I was doing when I was going into this. Because I was at first planning on doing a Maleficent eyeshadow thing. And then I changed my mind. Alright, so now <laughs> I'm going in with the Golden Pancakes eyeshadow color again. But this is their lighter color. Um, if you can see it there, it's definitely like a gold, it's a golden color and it has a lot of, um, pink undertones in it. And I'm just going to put it over my Woodwinked color just to give it some dimension. Oh, I like it so far. Okay, I'm proud of myself now. See, this is what I do on a daily basis. I look at the colors that I have in front of me or around me, and I just kind of figure out what I want to do from there. I don't ever have, like, a planned idea. I've never, well, I, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I want to do a smoky eye look. Or sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to be super dramatic. Like, sometimes. But most of the time I just kind of sit down and I'm like, all right, what do we want to do today, Courtney? Let's figure this out. Um, doo, doo, doo. I'm going to doo, dee, doo, dee, doo. take this color. No, let's do, um, I'm going to take the color Tease from Urban Decay Naked 2. Um, I love this, like, matte color, and I'm just taking the fluffy end. And again, I'm just going in my crease just to kind of darken it up a little bit and give it a little bit more depth. Yeah, I feel like you should, makeup is art. Makeup is definitely art, and people who do makeup or truly enjoy makeup are creative people and artists, so, I mean, just have fun with it when you're doing makeup. Like, it's not a strict rules. There's not a certain way you need to do anything. Like, you've seen people, I'm sure, who use eyeshadow pigments as lipstick or eyeliner, eyeshadow as eyeliner or whatever. And, like, that's what makeup's meant to be for is to just have fun with it. So, I'm going to now take just, um, uh, what is this brush called? Like an eyeliner type brush thing. I forgot. I'm sorry, people. And I'm just going to take um, the darker color from Butter Toast Duo, and I'm going to use it as an eyeliner, just because I don't want a super deep eyeliner today, like a dark one. I feel like it's just going to make my eyes look more tired than I already have. I was, like, super, <laughs> super duper sick this morning, and I'm feeling a lot better now, but... I was so tired. I like slept till two. So sad, but so true. Alright. Yeah, so it's just like a brown eyeliner. I don't have a brown eyeliner, and I didn't feel like finding an eyeliner, so I wanted to use a brown anyway, so there you go. And also, a little tip for people, if you're doing other people's makeup, I feel like if you use a um, eyeshadow brush and a dark eye eyeshadow, whatever color you want to use, I feel like it applies way easier when you're doing it like this on other people than when you're doing like an eyeliner pencil, especially with new people, like people who are just starting into makeup and don't know what to do type of thing. I feel like it really, okay, I feel like it really helps. Um, I'm actually going to use that same brush. I just took everything off, like all of the brown off of it. And I'm going to use this um, light green color. And I'm just going to put it in on my bottom lash line towards my crease.
I'm just going to blend it in together because I feel like my eyes need something else to dig. This video is turning out to be way longer than I wanted it to be. I'm sorry, kids. And then I'm going to just take a little bit and go on my top water or oh, eyelash line, whatever that line is called. And of course you can't even see it. I wish you could see it better, but whatever. That was me trying to show you. Hmm. And then I'm just going to take my white Lancome eye pencil, coal, and just do my waterline real quick. This is something I do pretty much every day. Just because I feel like it definitely helps bring out all the colors. And it makes your eyes pop and bigger, and I already have big eyes, so why not emphasize that? That's also something I feel like everybody should do, or something that's fun for everybody to do, is find the quality on your face that you, I don't know, like the most, maybe? And, or you feel like is people get the, draw the most attention to it. And just, like, accent that whenever you're doing your makeup. Because that's definitely, I mean, if people are already looking there, might as well make it look the prettiest, right? So, yeah, that's, oh my goodness. People look at my eyes the most because they're gigantic, so I don't blame them. And um, they also tend to look towards my lips, too, because my lips are pretty big. I'm sorry, kids. My lips are pretty big as well. So that is definitely one of the reasons why I um, try to draw more attention or make them look bigger than they already are. Because, I mean, hmm. Oh, and I'm just using the Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this stuff. Usually I'll use Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara for my bottom lashes, but I don't feel like grabbing it. So, that is the finished product, kids. I'm just going to take my just powder and just kind of touch everything up. <laughs> So, I make up all over my computer. I hope you like this video. I'm hopefully going to shorten it a little bit for you because 20 minutes is a little long to do eyeshadow, but I'm also talking it through it, so. Yep. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Meh. Meh. Alright children, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching this, please subscribe. Please. I follow all my subscribers back and I love every single one of you for following me. Like, I get so excited. I only have nine people following me and I still love every single one of them and I'm still excited that I get more. <laughs> um... Yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get more tutorials, let me know. If you're interested in getting a Maleficent tutorial, I probably will be putting it up tomorrow. Um, yeah, so have a good night or day or afternoon wherever you're watching this. Oh, my teeth look really white right now. Anyways, um, and if you have any suggestions or any questions, feel free to ask me on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. I'll put all the links down below. Um, yeah, so have a wonderful afternoon and whatever I just said. And adios, amigos. Because apparently I'm Dora now. <laughs> just kidding. Bye.